Three minutes past the hour of 8 o'clock. Welcome back here to the Kicks 96.5 Morning Show. We love featuring indie artists in the mornings. And this morning, we're heading to Nashville to chat with recording artist Jeff Buell. Jeff just released his latest single, Ain't the Beer, on Friday. We played it for you. And we're excited to have Jeff on the show. First, Jeff, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. Man, well, first, just, I mean, the last couple of days, you celebrated a wedding anniversary. How many years have you been married? Six. This is the sixth year. Six year. Tyler Ray's five. Danny's a baby. You're surrounded by females, Jeff. <laughs> I know. And my mom was just here, too. We oh, just oh, geez. flew her out yesterday. I think she's stuck in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully she can make it home. Uh, that, <laughs> She'll be all right. That's never fun. Uh, you're no. down in Nashville. You're a huge Titans fan. I, I love following <laughs> your sports comments on social media, Jeff. <laughs> what do you think of the draft? Oh, man, I thought it was awful. <laughs> the one uh, thing the you didn't want you got yeah and i thought that i had i thought that we was in the clear you know after we didn't draft him in the first round <laughs> and then there he was second round and then i heard him you know trade up and i was like please don't pick will levis and sure enough yeah he sure did he's talking about quarterback will levis from kentucky which you probably were familiar with being down in nashville seeing him oh, yeah. in his collegiate career he, he didn't have a very good senior year and then yeah the the titans pick him up the no, second he didn't pick even draft beat too. Vanderbilt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's not good. <laughs> no. At all. No. Another funny thing, if you watch Jeff on social media, it seemed like every time you wore a jersey last year, <laughs> the team lost. I know it. I know it. It was the curse. <laughs> it was the Jeff Yule uh, curse. Yeah, I should have wore the opposite of who I was actually going for, <laughs> but I just couldn't do it. Yeah, it was hilarious watching him. Every time he wore a jersey, they lost. It, it was. But if you if you paid attention, it was always a Wyoming guy. Yeah, you you did hold true there, or at least you know <laughs> supported the Wyoming guys. But once the Titans went down, I was I wore a Buffalo shirt. Buffalo went down. <laughs> well, you know Josh Allen. Yeah, and then when Buffalo went down, I wore a Cincinnati Logan Wilson shirt yeah. or jersey and then i actually ordered a eps from the eagles <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't get in until after the game but we'll get them next year well luckily you, you would have been all <laughs> for everything uh, after I know. The, <laughs> I know after the eagles lost <laughs> in, in the super bowl well you're you're a master of steel guitar jeff it, it's impressive how long have you been playing the steel guitar oh uh, Gosh, how many years? I think 17 years. Oh, wow. I think I started around 06. Yeah. Okay, so you started right when, pretty much when you moved to Nashville. Yeah, pretty much. A little before, actually. Huh. And well, and you, you've been playing. I mean, the new song has it all over it. You're also, are you going out and playing with other guys sometimes? Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm playing with the group Old Hickory, and uh, they're a trio just getting started out in Nashville, but they're really good if you y'all want to check them out. And uh, I even went out on the road with uh, Ryan Charles and Ian Munsick for a few dates, and that was a lot of fun, too. Oh, wow, so, just recently yeah. or when they were down south? Uh, it was almost a year ago now. Okay. It was in June. Yeah, it was in June last year. We went to Kansas City and played the uh, Power and Light District, and then... Uh, came back to nashville and did cma fest and yeah it was a lot of fun i had to uh rap steel is a whole nother thing <laughs> yeah can you believe ian i mean did you see he sold out the metra and billings last week on I thursday did. night yeah he's killing it man yeah it's it's impressive he was on the road with morgan wallen and cody johnson and yeah he's uh he made it. <laughs> yeah, he's doing his own thing now. Go check him out. Jeff Buell. He's at jeffbuell.com. He's on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, definitely go and follow him on social media, especially Twitter. His new single, Ain't the Beer, is out 
now. Well, your your last EP, All Dressed Up, came out in 2021. It was more of a bluegrass feel. I mean, imagine with yeah. Ain't the Beer, we're, we're heading back to our country roots. Yeah, you know, I had done that uh, bluegrass EP. Um, just something me and my mom always wanted to do was uh, bluegrass. And um, it was right before COVID. And then when uh, I actually got a record, got signed to a record label, a bluegrass record label, Turnberry Records, over th- for that uh, album. That's what I pitched to him. And then COVID hit, and everything sort of fizzled out. And uh, they just recent, or not very long ago, got a hold of me and was like, "Hey, you gonna do some more music?" <laughs> And I'm like, uh, can I go back to country? Because, you know, that's kind of my, that's kind of my uh, groove, you know. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. So okay. back in the so, studio, I went. So they'll still be pushing this one. Yes, sir. I'm still. They're they're still. I'm still signed to them. Oh, that's cool. Well, and how much did you just do the single? What do we got coming up? I'm gonna do a whole album. I haven't decided how many songs yet, but I got I got three new songs done, and I got a couple that are unreleased from previous years that I'm gonna finally add or finally put out. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna do six or ten, but I either got to record one more song or five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, depends on how much time and how much money. He wants to throw it at, at, at the new songs. Well, and who right. do you have playing on this? Because I saw where some people were up for some AMC awards, and you were saying, well, here's some players that have been playing with me in the studio. Yeah, uh, Janae Fleener played fiddle, and she's been musician of the year the last two or three years, I think. Uh, Saul Phil Cox played guitar. He was up for electric guitar player of the year. And we've been, he's been playing on my records for a long time. He was on um, the Holding It Down record, and we did that instrumental together. Oh, wow. And then uh, Tim Galloway is up for the Acoustic Guitar Player of the Year. And we actually have been playing together since clear back when I first moved to Nashville and on Broadway. And, um, yeah, I remember telling him back then, I was like, man, you're going to be playing on record someday. And I didn't know nothing back then, but I was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say, you owe me. I, I told yeah. you we were going to make it uh, sooner than later. And this producer, Jody Stevens, he's worked with Luke Bryan. Yeah, um, me and Jody, we actually went to elementary school together. And Wow, when uh, you first lived in Nashville. Yeah, when... Uh, when I was just, well, we lived in Nashville for nine years from the time I was two till 11. And yeah, we went to elementary school together. He was a couple years older than me. And I don't remember him. But uh, years later, when I moved back, I had another friend that was like, oh, you should get in touch with Jody Stevens. You know, he's working on music now. And he hadn't been work. His dad was working with Luke Bryan at the time. And, you know, the beats started coming along, you know, with uh, the beats going into country music and everything. Yeah. And his dad started including him on the Luke Bryan um, recordings. And he would, you know, do the loops and the beats and the some of the editing and all that. But, yeah, we just became, you know, good friends back then. We wrote My Friends Call Me Jeff together, you know, uh from a few albums ago. Yeah. But I was having a hard time um, with this other guy. He kept on <laughs> rescheduling on me, and I was like, well, I'll see what Jody's doing. You know, I know he's on to bigger and better things, but let me see. And he's like, yeah, sure, man. So, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's, that's amazing how uh, things come around like that. I mean, being in Nashville since 2006, talking to different people, sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes a decade. I mean, how comfortable are you feeling in Nashville now meeting all these people? Oh, oh, super comfortable. I mean, uh, 
it's funny. Uh, a lot of the guys that you first met there, you didn't know which direction, you know, things were going to head, but they're still there and found their way, you know, uh, like those guys now that are playing on records and yeah, we're all getting older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're all getting older and have families now. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm stuck there now. I couldn't leave if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, though. Uh, Jeff Buell, go check him out. JeffBuell.com. He's on Facebook, Twitter. His brand new single, Ain't the Beer, is out now. I mean, you mentioned Ryan Charles. I mean, you and Ryan had the, the hookup, I mean, before anything even started. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's been awesome seeing him. Um you know, take off. He He's a hard worker, man. When we was working together, I mean, when I told him I'd do something, if I didn't have it done, like, the next day, he was calling me, like, hey, you got that done yet? I'm like, man, I haven't even started. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a grinder. It doesn't, doesn't surprise me that he's seen the success that he is. Well, yeah, because you told me the story when we talked years ago about holding it down. I mean, you just kind of mentioned it. He was all over it because you had the single. That was your song first, Jeff, and then he came along and added to it or did the little remix or featuring Ryan Charles. Well, actually, it's funny. We did the remix first. <laughs> oh, really? So, yeah. He, you know, we had done the slower uh, Be My Baby collaboration together and he was like i want to do a party song so i came up with the hook for holding it down and he sang it or he did his part and everything and i was like man i think that would be a good country song too you know so i actually went back and wrote verses to make it a to get rid of the rap <laughs> <laughs> to make it no a disrespect you know how it is yeah make it a full on country song well then you got two You're versions right? of it so yeah you, you can please everybody well well, the new one ain't that ain't the beer I mean is this a true story Jeff where's this coming from well I got a good buddy in Nashville Tom Perkins and usually when we get our demos done from songs we record or Whatever we're doing new, we send it to each other, you know. And just to get some feedback, whatever, if we're excited about it, like, hey, check this one out, you know. And he sent me that one a couple years ago, and I was like, man, I love that. And uh, we was writing together not very long ago, and I was like, hey, what's going on with uh, Ain't the Beer? Like, he wrote it with another guy, Timothy Baker, who's actually in that band, Old Hickory, that I've been playing with. Okay. And anyways, I was like, is Timothy going to put that out or what? And he's like, no, I don't think so. So I was like, well, y'all mind if I put it out? And he's like, no, man, go ahead. So I went in the studio and cut it. Yeah, well, I like the, the, the song, and I, I, I read a review about it, and they, they hit it on the head. It, it's a personal edge, but the song isn't depressing. Was that Jody yeah. that did that? Was that how it was? What? Uh, I think it's the way they wrote it, you know. Um, and the, you know, the track, the music to it is fun, and yeah, and you can still dance to it, you know. But uh, yeah, I just think that they that that's the way they wrote it. They was like, you know, this is going to be a sad story, but it's going to be fun <laughs> to sing about. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because you listen to the lyrics, you're like, holy cow. This is a lot sadder than, than the music or the vibe of the song. That's kind of cool that it's not that depressing Oh yeah, when you're hearing it. But, I mean, Nashville, you're in the heart of Nashville. The way country music is going, you're going backwards, Jeff. You did the Bluegrass <laughs> album. Now you're, you've are you hit this with the steel guitar, the, the traditional country. I mean, is, I mean, obviously, that's you. How are you feeling yeah. about traditional country right now? Uh, man, I think it's going to come back. Um, I don't know about, you know, come back all the way, but I yeah. think uh, new country is going to be just that. It's going to be country, but, you know, new. And I think there's some guys, you know, doing it like uh, John Party and Cody Johnson. And... Uh, 
you know, I think it's, I think people are getting sick of the, of the pop country. Yeah. Well, and it seems like, yeah, the, the, the wave is turning a little bit more traditional country and even the old traditional guys are even coming back, you know, after they've been gone. So yeah, it all, it all goes in waves. The cover art right. for ain't the beer. Who did that? That's sweet with the beer bottle. Uh, my record label came up with that, and I don't know exactly who, but they just sent it back to me and was like, what do you think of this? And I was like, man, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, let's go. Yeah. You didn't you didn't make any beer company mad, hopefully. <laughs> right. <laughs> it works. No, I was real careful about that. Yeah, exactly. We didn't rip anybody off or, or steal any patents, <laughs> so uh, that's a good thing. Ain't the beer from Jeff Buell. Go and check him out. Are you coming to Buffalo this summer, Jeff? Uh, I might come for a visit, but I don't have anything planned on playing. But you never know; I might pop in somewhere. Yeah, how's Danny? Is is she out oh, of the the sick. crying phase, or is she sleeping? Or no. oh, she's sleeping pretty good. She's teething right now. So oh, that's kind of rough. But <laughs> she's a trooper. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, well, good luck. Surrounded by females. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna need it. He's gonna need it. He's gonna need. He's gonna need more beer. But uh, <laughs> go and follow him. Go support him. Thanks, Jeff, so much for coming on. Man, thanks for having me. It's ain't the beer. It's Jeff Buell. It's Kicks ninety six five.